I will be able to read a table and determine the variables. So this is a table. What do you guys think variables are? What do you think variables are, Charlize? They might be vegetables. No, it's not a vegetable. Nathan. No idea. Okay, Russell Wolf. That's why I'm here. So we're gonna learn that today. All right, hands down for a second. So when we measure things and how they change, we have to organize it. We have to organize it. And the way to organize it is by putting it in things called tables or graphs. What kind of graphs are there? Does anybody know what kind of graphs there are? Charlize? Like the ones cool. where like, you see how much there are and then you measure it up. Bar graph. Daisy? You were going to say a bar graph? Yeah. Nathan? A chore graph. A chore graph? Okay, yep. it's kind of like a table, right? Your mom writes the chore. Chore and then she checks off what you do. That's like a table. Hudson? Um, I do not even know. You don't know? It's okay. How We're about us? We're learning. This so, I want to measure how much particip per precipitation, precipitation. <laughs> precipitation happens precipitation. over a whole year. What is Whoa. precipitation? Rain! 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 So I want to measure how much it rains Ooh, in a whole year. Okay. So I decided, Nathan, can you sit? Okay, oh. wait. Kaden, can we sit? I decided that I was going to organize my data or my measurements into a table. So I put the dates and I put the daily precipitation or how much it rains every day, right? Okay, so I have a question for you guys. What do you think, if we're looking at our table, we know that we have to have two variables, or variables are how things change. Variables are how things change over time in our experiments, right? So what do you think, if we're looking at this, what do you think the variables are, or what do you think is changing? What do you think is changing? There's two of them. There's two of them. Alex? That are changing. Look at our chart or our table here and see the two things that are changing. The two things that are changing, those are our variables. Brooklyn? something that was really good. Okay, I'll give one more chance. Alex. Oh, the numbers are changing. The numbers are changing. So, Daisy said time. One of our variables is time. It's our day. Every day is different. This says January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd, January 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, right? So, our day is changing. Our day is changing. So, that's one of our variables. And what's on this side? What's on this side that's daily changing? Charlize? The daily precipitation, how much it rains changes every time. That's our other variable that we're putting on this side. What do you guys, what does this mean over here in the parentheses? What does that mean in parentheses to us? Inches. And I just wrote one up there. And I didn't know what I wouldn't know what it was. So when we are doing are taking our measurements and putting it in our table, we have to make sure that we are labeling it with the, the type of measurement it is, right? Because this could be zero days, hours, times, right? Like we never, we wouldn't know what it was unless we put the label there. So now I have another question for you guys. This is my last question. Yay. 